some full moon madness. An evil spirit is let loose in Africa after local customs are disturbed. Christopher Lee stars in Curse 3, Blood Sacrifice, next. Three Americans on a journey. A grand tour with no destination. Searching for pleasure. I will take you to a friend of mine. A girl. Beautiful. More than the moon. Searching for direction. Are you lost? Yes. Searching for meaning. John Malkovich, Deborah Winger, The Sheltering Sky, a Cinemax exclusive premiere. Tonight, Amos was murdered last night. I want you to handle this case personally. Harrison Ford. Find out which of the creeps she put away is out of parole. There are 150 lawyers down there that couldn't find one who didn't sleep with her. Why didn't you tell me about you and Carolyn? You were in Carolyn's apartment the night she was killed. Raul Julia. Indeed, you will go to trial. I'm still in love with her. You killed her. This is my life. Presumed innocent. men, Colonel. They fly 24 missions without a scratch. That doesn't sound very ordinary to me. The story of the Memphis Bell World War II bomber didn't sound ordinary to producers David Putnam and Kathleen Weiler either. They recognized the potential to tell an exciting wartime adventure about 10 ordinary young men faced with an extraordinary mission. Cut fuel, feather prop, fire extinguisher, everybody, hang on! Producer Weiler developed the idea for the film after re-screening the 1944 documentary, The Memphis Bell, directed by her father, the late William Weiler. We found that 40 years later, it was still a very moving, powerful piece. And uh, it looked like something uh, that could be the basis for a feature film. This is The Memphis Bell. We're lead plane now. Matthew Modine, the pilot of the Memphis Bell, guides a crew of 10 for its 25th and final mission over Nazi-occupied Germany. Sir, that's the third rank down there. 30 seconds to bomb run. The film features an ensemble cast of some of today's most talented young actors, including Eric Stoltz, D.B. Sweeney, Sean Astin, Tate Donovan, and Harry Connick Jr. To help the actors recreate their actual jobs on the Flying Fortress, the filmmakers gave the cast a taste of life during wartime. I really enjoyed firing the 50 caliber machine guns, but we actually had to fire blank rounds, and that's, that's, a, that's a moose of a gun. I flew this thing all over the English countryside, like some, you know, like Jerry Lewis. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was quite fun. I mean, I really, really enjoyed it. But perhaps the most memorable and valuable experience of the film was when the young actors met their real-life counterparts face to face. So you were 18 years old. It was exhilarating um, to, to meet the men who fought in that war, you know, and, and recall with them their experiences. I know Matthew and I both hope when we become old men, we're like them. They'd give you little tiny stories or little tiny details about what it's like to be, you know, in your position and stuff like that, uh, that would humanize it for you and go, wow. Somebody really went through this. And one of the men who went through this heroic experience fondly recalls that final historic flight. We knew it was the 25th. We knew we were going home. It wasn't foremost in our mind when we were flying the mission. Uh, when we saw England again coming back, then it became foremost in our mind. And uh, very excited, exuberant, and uh, knowing we were going to get home and finally get a milkshake again. <laughs> This month on Cinemax. Next, some full.
full moon madness. An evil spirit is let loose in Africa after local customs are disturbed. Christopher Lee stars in Curse 3, Blood Sacrifice. Next. They're nice. Who? Them. Touch me with your white words and your dead hands. I beg your pardon? Jeez, Zinky. God, you scared me. I scare everybody. I caught her trying to barbed wire her room last week. It isn't funny, Les. I hereby proclaim this Roxy Carmichael Week. She's famous. What's she famous for? Well, it's just not every day that a legend returns to Clyde. It's not that we don't love Dinky. I feel like we adopted a baby from Mars or something. She just is not like us at all. Do you think I should go blonde? Roxy Carmichael always took a chance. Go for it. <laughs> My real mother wants me back, and I have to go with her. Who's her mom? She says her mother's Roxy Carmichael. Winona Ryder. God, I want to kiss you so bad right now, Dinky. It's good to want things. Jeff Daniels. It's a strange kid. She's here! Welcome home, Roxy Carmichael. A Cinemax exclusive premiere. Saturday, December 14th. Years ago, it touched our most profound, deepest fears. Do you dare walk these steps again? I cut her throat and watched her bleed. Satan grows stronger. Boy, I've been crucified. It's a problem. All this bleeding. He has found a haven. You believe in possession, Father? He has taken possession. His web widens. Inside this cell, inside a man, a man thought to have died 15 years ago. He says he's the Gemini killer. The Gemini is dead. No, I am not. I'm alive. The real terror is back. George C. Scott. My God. The Exorcist Three. I'm Andy Sedaris, and if you like your cars fast and your women faster, shift into gear all December long for the drive-in Saturday night. You're marvelous. That's right, and so is Cinemax for bringing us four hot films from writer-director Andy Sedaris. God bless you, sir. God certainly blessed you, ma'am. Let's cut to the chase with the not-so-chase. Break out those macadamia nuts for hard ticket to Hawaii. Then our heroines continue to be quite arresting. Need a hand? So be in on the big bust. Guns. Are you comfortable with a big gun? They have their advantages. Next, with these girls on the case, life certainly is a day at the beach. What are you doing, picking coconuts? No, I'm installing cable television. Savage Beach. And finally, all work and no playmates makes Cody a dull cop. Cruise dangerous curves on the Malibu Express. Who else can do the job? No one but Andy Sedaris. Four of his hottest films in December. At the drive-in Saturday night. When the moon shines full in December, evil can come from its light. So Cinemax gives you six reasons to stay inside and lock the doors. One. What are you doing out in this mess? Two. Three. You're sorry! Look at me! Four. Six. Six spine-tingling movies that'll drive you out of your mind. Bride of Reanimator, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Curse 3, Blood Sacrifice, Popcorn, Friday the 13th, and Friday the 13th Part 2. Full Moon Madness on Cinemax in December. If you like movies, you'll love Saturday Night on Cinemax. At 8, African tribal rights set an atmospheric backdrop when Christopher Lee stars in Curse 3, Blood Sacrifice. Then at 9.30, jaded jet setters search for the meaning of life in the sheltering sky. And at midnight, hot bods search the sand looking for Mr. Goldbar on Savage Beach. It's all here tonight. Cinemax, if you like movies.
The following program contains scenes and language of a frank and explicit nature. Viewer discretion is advised. Thank you. 